in the northernmost town on Earth. Not allowed to die here, not allowed to be born here. In the Arctic. Imagine, everyone who lives here wasn't born here. There's this Norwegian island, on which it is forbidden to die or be born. It is the world's island of depression, long months of complete darkness. It's land of the polar bear. During which the sun never shines. And it has a doomsday vault. If there's a world war and the world ends, you will find seeds of all the world's plants here, even from North Korea. Oh my lord! Where are we? We're going to an Arctic archipelago called Svalbard. The only way to reach this island is through Norway. But no one in the world needs a visa to enter this island. Anyone can work here. We're in Oslo, the capital of Norway, the capital of the richest country in Europe. It's February. Its per capita income is the third largest in the world, and its quality standards are one of the highest in the world. Its most important industry is the oil and gas. It's the country with the most natural gas reserve in Europe after Russia. Welcome to Norway! Welcome to Norway! They also have shipbuilding, paper products, metals, chemicals, timber, textiles, and fishing, which is the most important thing they have here, of course. Many countries in the world import fish from here because of its quality. We're going to Svalbard, and it's scary. Norway celebrates its Independence Day. Norway. Did you know that Norway has a sovereign wealth fund made of oil revenues, the largest in the world? through which it invests oil and gas revenues. The person who discovered oil here is an Iraqi man, imagine, because the Iraqis have experience in oil and gas and exploration for them in Iraq. The man who discovered oil here is a true legend, and Norwegians are still grateful to the person who discovered oil here. As you can see, this is my room today. After two days in Oslo, we went to the far north of Norway, to the city of Tromso, also called the Paris of the North. It's the most beautiful city in Norway. It is called the Paris of the North. Okay, we've arrived in Tromsø. It's the farthest city in northern Norway, from Oslo to Tromsø and then to Svalbard. We're now preparing ourselves for the darkness and the island that lies outside of Europe. You're welcome, guys. This is Tromsø at 4 p.m. I want to declare my love to Tromsø. However, our mission was to go to the island of Svalbard, which we will leave Europe to go to by international flight. Jump to northern Norway. Let's go to Svalbard. Svalbard. To Svalbard. We're off <laughs> to the northernmost town. They say it's dangerous up there because there are bears that might attack us. I'm not kidding, that's what they say, you have to be armed. They stamped my passport. We're leaving, leaving Europe for Svalbard. We can float away across the sea, the sea, the sea. Oh my God, this is amazing. La, 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 Straits, la, la, la. mountains and lakes. La, 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 this country is amazing. Welcome to Amazing Swalbot. <laughs> Where are we? Storm! In the far Arctic! <laughs> this is the first thing you see when you walk in. Where are we? It's 12 noon now. Look. <laughs> this is just outside the airport. It's 1 p.m. now. You can take a bus or rent a car.
This archipelago does not belong administratively to any Norwegian province, but it constitutes an independent region administered by a governor appointed by the Norwegian government. Hello, this is the hotel. You can leave your luggage in your luggage room, uh, right beside the shoe room there. Why do people in this town live here? In Svalbard, this is how we spend our day, at around 1.30. We're in this town now, see? Long year, Ben. This is the archipelago. The North Pole has polar bears, but no penguins. Antarctica has penguins, but no polar bears. All of these are in one building. Everything, all the government in one building. It's very convenient. There's a mall here, a cafe and some restaurants. Two or three. Let's try their coffee. This is a cafe. We went to get to know this town. This is the only cafe here. Good, good. Where are you from? This entire town only has two streets and only 2,000 people live there. Look, they say no weapons are allowed. Because the people here are all armed. Because of the bears. This is the only supermarket here. Of course, this is our friend's picture here. Let's see what they sell. In Svalbard. We thought we'd start shopping at the only supermarket here. What can we buy? This shop has everything. Coffee. These tools are for snow. Look, they say it's tax-free. They bring everything from Norway. Anybody can live here. Whatever your nationality may be, you can come and live here. It's forbidden for women to give birth here and it is forbidden for a person to die on this island. This means that they transport you to Norway to die there. Uh, I'm from Norway, mainland Norway, uh, but you don't need a visa to live here. Uh, so we have a like big melting pot of different cultures. It's really fun. A lot of good food. <laughs> okay, say. okay. Yeah. So a lot of nationality here. A lot of nationalities, yeah, plenty. But they said you're not allowed to die here. Not allowed to die here, not allowed to be born here. Uh, if you get too sick uh, or too old, then you have to leave the island. Yeah, nobody can die uh, and be born here. Uh, first of all, like we have a hospital, is actually nearby. Okay. The yellow building and um, this hospital doesn't have a very proper equipment for the giving birth so even if the woman is about to give birth she's immediately sending to Tromsø to the nearest town in Norway. We are sending the helicopter and helicopter is sending to her to Tromsø. Basically one month before she's giving birth she's already sending to the Tromsø but yeah. Uh, nobody can die here because of the permafrost. Basically, if even the body will be on the ground, the frost will push up the body, mm. up, so... How is like living here in far away town, man? Uh, it's, it's pretty great. It is very isolated, but everyone here cares for each other because we, we have to have each other's back. It's <laughs> far away from civilization. Yeah, my name is Alona. <laughs> It was two days ago, it was my anniversary, I'm here two years. <laughs> I love nature very much and uh, I feel like I wanted to connect with the nature the mo in the most way. Yeah, and uh, actually in this place I had a lot of different transformation in, like um, my for my soul. You, actually, we are visitors here because it's the land of the wild animals, so it's the land of the <laughs> polar bears. Why do people live here? For the coal mines. Yes, all the islands of the archipelago have had coal mines. Look, there's a cable car up there, but it's a coal cable car. Since the Soviet Union era, even Russia was here. And there's even an abandoned Russian town here. There's one last coal mine left here. And they say it will run out soon and then the town will be closed. It'll be for tourism only. The only girl who spoke to us turned out to be Russian. Hello. Nice to meet you. This is the world's most northern fuel station. The second day we went to this vault, which is called the Doomsday Vault. This is the hidden seed vault, here in Svalbard, in which all the seeds of the world are housed, inside the vault. Even North Korea put seeds here. From all countries in the world. If the entire world ends, they will open it and take out the seeds when the seeds in all other countries run out. 
All this in an underground cave where the temperature is 18 below zero inside the vault. This is a bank, a safe seed bank. In a remote part of the world, they say that in 2015 they opened the vault and took out the stored seeds collected from Syria after the ones in Aleppo's seed bank were vandalized. In 2017, they planted these seeds in Lebanon and Morocco and stored the rest so they would not disappear forever. The gene bank in Aleppo was ruined. This system saved the seeds. The idea itself is scary that the world would end with a nuclear bomb or war, something we see getting closer and closer. This is their password lock, <laughs> like the ones you see in movies. The color of the lock is red and the vault's facade is green. The whole thing is scary. Do you live here? Uh, yes. Do you mind to be in a video? Uh, no, I don't have time, sorry. Oh, really? Brother, do you live here? Yes, I live here. Do you mind uh, to be in the video? Uh, no, I don't have time. No, no time? No time, sorry. Hey, uh, do you live here? Yes. Do you mind to be in the video? But I'm in a hurry, sorry. Really? Yeah, sorry. No problem, no problem. Hey, hey guys, uh, do you live here? Uh, yes. Do you mind to be in the video? Uh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Hello, how are you? Uh, this is Angie. She's from Philippines and she lives here. Uh, I've been here for six years now. Do you feel bored here? Yeah, there are times, yes, and mostly just reading, staying inside, visiting my, my favorite local places like cafe, spend time with myself with a cup of coffee and, and a book, and also escaping the, the reality or escaping the busy world that uh, they have back in their hometown. Um, there are times that you just like get sad uh, without really any reason. Mm. Like you don't have the same energy. Yeah, so I was just living in the Philippines and then I met this wonderful man okay. <laughs> in the Philippines. I recommend you this. <laughs> he found out that uh, it was possible for someone to just stay here without any visa. So he asked me if I wanted to follow him. I said, yeah, like we can try. Yeah, and so we did try and then in 2018 I moved up here. Uh, anybody can come here and work here? Yeah, according to the treaty, yes. Since you have to travel to Norway in order to travel to Svalbard, then you need to have a Schengen visa. So that's what I did. I got myself a Schengen visa, entered Norway and then came to Svalbard. You're, you are allowed to stay in Svalbard as long as you have a job or you, you can finance yourself. I work at the guest house, which I love so much. I think the average salary for an average person would be around 30,000 Norwegian kroners, minus the tax already, 3,000 euro. But one person can work multiple jobs at the same time. We've been here for two days and no one allows us to film in their house and show us what daily life is like here. In the end, we only found a Filipino girl, a Filipino and a Russian. I mean, I want to book a ticket to Russia, bro. Bro, uh, they need to be more social. No one wants to talk to us. 